Hey guys, how's it going? Let me show you the next addition to the Lazy Panda Toolkit. So, what we have here is the debris generator. And what that does is literally what the name is saying. It generates debris for you. You can pick between different types. Like, one is rocky, which is a bit more complex and creates very random different shapes. Then we have a basic one, which is a simple Voronoi uh, fracture, basically. And then we have sand, uh, which is again a bit more simple, but also a bit complex. Mm -hmm. And I oriented it towards the pixel sand you saw on Piper. So yeah, this tool just allows you to generate a quick amount of random rocky or debris objects that you can scatter around the scene or all the new explosion simulations like RBD simulations um, and other things. So yeah, very handy tool. Um, you need to do that quite often. So I thought, why not just make a tool for it and speed up the process a little bit. So let me show you the different results you can get. Let me switch to basic. The random scale uh, is, <laughs> again, what the label is saying. It just scales the pieces randomly um, along multiple axes as well so you get a bit of randomness here wedge count how many do you want and then obviously a seat if you don't like that batch you can generate another one and yeah we have a version we have a base name where it's going to be stored and a base folder so mine goes to uh, wherever my hip file is and then to the geometry alrighty so I switch to basic dirty all cook up note Save and continue because it's a top net inside and let's wait until it's finished. You can see it's also showing you uh, on this level here how far it's going and how fast it's going. So once it's finished, you just need to hit reload geometry. Otherwise they won't display and you can see we have our uh, basic pieces here. This is totally fine if they fly fast by the camera or they're just in the background and you just need a few pieces here and there or for example you want to have I don't know let's say a perfume commercial and you want to have like a lot of like golden pieces flying around golden particles um, these are quite nice as well so you scale them down really really small and these like straight on faces catch the light super cool so if they're highly reflective um, you can get some really really nice results out of this as well so let's switch to sand and let me show you how that looks so switching to sand dirty all cook up with geometry again save it obviously and wait for a bit Cool, cache is done. Let me hit reload geometry and you can see we have the sand particles. You can see I'm always displaying the, the right hand side here, uh, which puts them all on a straight line. So you can see all your variances, but by default it goes in here. And it is packed geometry already. Um, let me show you the window. Here we go. So it's packed geometry, packed fragments, and you can already scatter them onto whatever you want. So yeah, I did a super quick example here of having like cloth going around a, a piece of bottle, perfume bottle. And if you, if I go inside of, sorry, my scene is a little bit random, but <laughs> uh, you can see, yeah, I'm bringing in the objects here and then I'm scattering them onto that piece of cloth. So you can see Houdini obviously tries to hide as much as possible of it but you can see I have all these little rocks here they're a bit too big now uh, I tried it with the other ones before and it looked great uh, the sand ones are maybe a bit too big so you should probably lower your p-scale but it can give you quite nice results actually I hope you enjoy the tool uh, and I hope you have fun with it and check out the lazy pander because I moved everything that was on um, the LBT into the lazy pander and now everything is properly organized and you can find it all uh, in one tool and one install alrighty let me know if you have any questions uh, hit me up on discord or patreon or here on youtube and see you in the next one cheers